The Goldilocks Zone is another term for the habitable zone of a system, and generally means where liquid water is possible on the surface of a planet, even if more widely it's supposed to be those areas that are not too hot or too cold for life. The name derives from the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, which if you're not familiar with it, charts the activity of a nasty little girl who breaks into the bear's home and eats their food and sleeps in each bear's bed before they catch her and eat her instead. And of course the big problem here is that we don't actually know what is too hot or cold for life, and bears, for instance, are generally going to thrive in a colder environment better than equatorial lizards. Another key thing to remember is that the habitable zone size is based off the star's brightness and age, so they migrate with time and many plants that might have begun habitable and warm early on might be scorching desert infernos not even the sandworms of dune would tolerate before that world was old enough for intelligence to have evolved. Nevertheless, for all the uncertainties of what is habitable, it guides our basic hunt for techno and biosignatures, particularly the latter, not because we are sure other life can't exist, but because we know we do exist and hunt for parallel cases as the low-hanging fruit of SETI. Of course, as we'll explore in Crystal Aliens, other types of life may thrive in environments you'd never find in the Goldilocks Zone.